If you look and listen to these pictures and sounds, you might think this was a street parade in New Orleans. But this is Southeast DC. And that brass band and those folks carrying parasols, walking behind a horse-drawn caisson. It's the home going for Mary and Barry. And they've now just pulled onto the property there at the Temple of Praise on Southern Avenue. And that's where our Mike Kinnean is standing by for us right now. Mike, this has been, I think, a remarkable thing that we've been watching for the better part of this day. It started at the Wilson Building. It stretched through southwest and southeast. And now it's just about where you are right there. And that last maybe half mile or so, it looked exactly like a, a, a funeral parade in New Orleans. And you can hear the brass band in the background. It just makes it all the more that kind of a scene. Oh yeah, Dave, this is a celebration of Marion Barry and his life and legacy. It's an event, uh, maybe the biggest event that will happen here in War Date all year. And we're watching now, I'll step out of the shot so we can show you live here, set the stage. Uh, the honor guard is there waiting for him. A big crowd here outside Temple of Praise Church on Southern Avenue. Right now you see the truck pulling, the media uh, pool, uh, bringing those live pictures we've seen throughout the morning of the, media, of the procession. And here it is, the caisson with the Clydesdales uh, pulling the casket of Marion Barry. The transfer happened just about a mile up Southern Avenue at United Medical Center. And on the back of the caisson is the casket with the Kenti cloth, a traditional cloth known in Africa as the cloth of kings, uh, witnessing history right here on News Channel 8, right up close and seeing family members and close friends and associates of Barry walking behind the casket. And behind uh, the casket, we're also seeing many different musical groups, marching bands, uh, assembled groups playing music. Uh, we saw that all along the route, uh, and we saw also a lot of road closures, a lot of people just simply pulling over in their cars, stopping, wanting to witness this history as it, as it comes here through Southern Avenue in Ward 8. This procession originally was planned to go through the entire city, all eight wards, but it was scaled back because of the traffic implications, and uh, now only going through on a more direct route here to Temple of Praise Church. But as you said, Dave, a very festive spirit and the honor guard here in front of the church in just moments will be receiving uh, and greeting the casket. A large, very large crowd of Washingtonians here gathered, some who were born here, who are native Washingtonians, some who now live in Maryland or other parts of the region that wanted to be here to celebrate this man and his legacy. His body will be available for public viewing starting at 1 o'clock here at Temple of Praise on Southern Avenue. Then a community service tonight at 7, featuring a eulogy by the bishop here, Glenn Staples, remarks by the Reverend Al Sharpton, and tributes from different community members, community leaders here in Ward 8 and across the city. Of course, Barry, having represented Ward 8 for 16 years on the council and elected mayor uh, four different times, serving 16 years as mayor there at City Hall, uh, where earlier today we saw that uh, the exit of the casket and even more crowds in the last 24 hours during that public viewing there. And then of course the main event is tomorrow expected to track thousands and thousands of Washingtonians celebrating the life of this man. Uh, that event gets underway at 11 a.m. at the convention center in Mount Vernon Place. So again, Dave, we're just going to continue to watch these pictures as they play out. A very festive and energized crowd. People who say that Mary and Barry helped them get their first jobs from the Summer Youth Employment Program. People who say that Mary and Barry helped create the black middle class here in D.C. in this region. And they say they love this man. He's a godfather, uh, a father figure, a grandfather figure to so many. Of course, over the years as journalists, we've covered his stumbles, some of his demons, his struggles with drugs, some of his uh, issues with the law, with taxes and whatnot. But today is about celebrating his, his positives, his impact here in this community and his legacy that no doubt will be uh, known for many, many years. We've seen lots of children here as well uh, who are there with their parents. Parents brought them. 
uh, wanting them to witness this history. And it's it's kind of hard to uh, uh, to think that that in some years that this man will simply be a historical figure and not the living icon who served for so many years as a mayor and as a council member, as an elected official here in this community. A lot of people uh, with different merchandise, people selling T-shirts, as we saw at the Wilson Building yesterday, a lot of campaign uh, items like this sign uh, from uh, one of his previous campaigns for Ward 8 council member, a lot of buttons and other uh, other items, people wanting to share their connection to Marion Barry, wearing those buttons and T-shirts very proudly here in Ward 8, Dave. This area sees a lot of official big deal funerals, but I think few are any more heartfelt than this one right now, and we've been watching the manifestations of it all this afternoon. Mike Neen's going to be there for us at the Temple of Praise all this afternoon, and we'll be going back to him from time to time. Mike, thank you so much for that. 14 minutes now before 1 o'clock. We'll take a break. We're back with more news right after this.